When Acuity shows your clients open appointment times, several settings work together to ensure you're available. Availability represents the times that you're available to see clients. Appointment type duration is the length of time the appointment takes. And scheduling limits, which are settings that restrict bookings such as having a maximum number of appointments per week. For full control over your schedule and when clients can book with you, set your hours for each calendar. If your calendar stays the same week to week, set regular weekly hours. To do this, navigate to the Availability panel. Choose the calendar you'd like to edit, and then click Availability slash Limits. Make sure the Regular Hours option is enabled, then enter your hours in the fields for each day of the week, and then Save. If you want your calendar to have different hours every day, make sure the Regular Hours option is disabled, and then switch to Specific Days, and set the hours for each day. Use scheduling limits to choose if and when clients can book, edit, or cancel their appointments. Your scheduling limits determine how many people can book with you for the same time, how far in the future clients can book, and if you have a maximum number of appointments each week, and more. There are two kinds of scheduling limits. Global limits apply to all of Acuity, and calendar limits apply to a specific calendar or to a specific group of appointment types on a calendar. Each calendar in Acuity represents a separate set of hours when clients can book appointments. Some small businesses only need one calendar. If you have multiple staff members or locations, you can create individual calendars for them. Keep in mind the number of calendars you can create depends on which subscription plan you're signed up for. To add a new calendar, from the Availability panel, click Add New Calendar. Enter the calendar's name and any details you want to include. Add an email address or phone number to receive the confirmation, cancellation, and rescheduling notifications. Separate multiple entries with commas. And save. Then, select the appointment types on this calendar. And save. Now set your availability. And save. Set your calendar scheduling limits. Save and then close the editor. To edit an existing calendar, Navigate to the calendar settings of the calendar you wish to edit, then make your changes. Calendar settings is also where you can delete a calendar. Please let us know if you have any more questions. We're always here to help.